after a gunman entered the synagogue this morning and within 20 minutes 11 people were dead. Hail our people! Hail victory! Chaos in Charlottesville, a car plowing through counter protesters. <laughs> My name is Kenton Clausen, and I'm playing Mike Downey in Cherry Docks. My name is John, and I'm playing Danny in our play Cherry Docks, and I'm also a producer at Cave Counter Productions. So Cave Counter Productions is all about reaching across boundaries and divided lines to find each other. And that's what this play is about. We're trying to see, is it possible to connect to a group that hates you? Cherry Docks is about a neo-Nazi who killed a foreigner, and a Jewish lawyer who decides to represent him in court. It puts them in the room together, and then it just turns the heat up. Both of them are stuck in one room and have to talk to each other and have to figure out a way to work together in order to get through this trial successfully. Cherry Docks was written in 1998, 21 years ago, and it is still as relevant as ever. There's been a rise in, in white nationalist violence, there's been a rise in anti-Semitism. It's the same ideology, same sentiments, but dressed up in suits and ties. I think this play is important because it asks a lot of difficult questions. Are there limits to forgiveness? What's the most effective way to deal with hatred and apparent evil? How do we balance punishment, punitive measures, with restorative justice? Is it more hatred? Is it more anger? Is it love? Is it forgiveness? Is it shame? Is it uh, punishment? Is it social conditioning? What's the actual way that we can bring about unity? What is effective? There's so many responses that we have to these things, but some of them work and some of them don't. You're going to be walking away from this play with your friends, with various viewpoints and opinions. It's not simple. It's not, there's no black and white answers. And we think it's very important to do right now. The questions that it asks and the topics it approaches are important to bring up again. And we want to do this right, with your help. So, theatre is not a lucrative business. We do this because we love it and we're passionate about it. Uh, we don't have the opportunity to get government funding for this one, and so we need uh, help from people who believe in what we do. If you believe in what we're doing, if you believe in the questions and the topics this play raises, help us out. Give us $5, $10, or $500. Anything we give helps, and we're very grateful to anything that you do give. So click on the link after this video and help us bring this play to life.